So, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Of course, shout out to Rhyme Style. I think that him himself was actually a pretty powerful god lead. And what he had around him doesn't really look like the craziest options. He does have Tech Beerus. He does have that base form Vegeta who has a support type unit. He has the Tech Golden Frieza as well as the Nova Shenron. But the main sort of rotation you would run with this Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is him and that Team Gotenks, I believe. Because when Team Gotenks does get a Dokkan Awakening, of course, this video came out in what? Came out six years ago, November of 2016. <laughs> This guy doesn't get his Dokkan Awakening for a while, I believe, and that would then make him his best linking partner. But he did have STR Super Gogeta, he did have a STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. It's like he does have some options here. Hmm, when does he come out? He comes out in August of 2016. Ah, uh, okay. But today, we're going to talk about Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. You guys already know we're going to keep it traditional today. We're going to do two unit reviews and. We're going to keep the scheduling going. Now, what I wanted to say in this video before I start is that I'm going to be doing more custom card reviews. Those little card reviews made by you guys. I am going to try to do those weekly. I'm going to try to push out two, maybe three of those weekly. Because I do want to get all of you guys' cards inside the videos. That way, no one is left out. Now, if anything does change... Of course, I will let you guys know inside a community tab or inside a some sort of like upload like video, some sort of like channel update. Now, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Now, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, I think him, him and the physical SSJ Broly are the only two god leads I have not talked about. And I remember seeing someone telling me to talk about this unit inside the comment section. And I did have this unit vaulted on my notepad for quite some time. So we're going to go ahead and talk about Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. So Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. He comes out during the leader skill slash Dokkan event meta. I just call it the leader skill slash Dokkan event meta. Even though technically, during 2016, it's the leader skill meta. It's the monotyping meta slash whatever meta. So, leader skill slash Dokkan event meta just makes a whole lot of damn sense because Dokkan events were pretty much the toughest content at the time, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, I think that was Prime Battle Goku's... Uh, card out at this time i want to go ahead and double check that real quickly let's go ahead and get super saiyan because his his event was tough i wasn't playing at that time but i do remember hearing people saying that this shit was tough because it was only able to be done with super strike characters yeah july 5th of 2016 so this guy does come out of course a whole month later yeah okay it's july of 2016 and august of 2016 all right. So, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks during the leader skill slash no combat meta. I think he was quite powerful. And this man did something that you guys already know. 2016, hitting hard was meta. This guy hit hard. He had 120% attack and forming a super attack. He was an over and flash unit. Of course, he was a meta card. Now, as for his god leader of 3 key and 70% of the stats to tech, I think he was pretty decent. I think it's pretty decent for sure, because you just run double of him, you run the base Vegito on rotation with the friend one, or with yours, and you run the team Gotenks with yours, or maybe the friend one, you just run it on both separate rotations, and then you just have the the Nova Shenron and <laughs> Tech Golden Frieza, of course, just like all three of those cards, like Tech Beerus, that Golden Frieza, of course, was one of the best tanks in the game, I believe, at that time. Right, let me go ahead and see what is that tech golden freezes ssr he has 50 percent damage reduction and 50 percent attack when hp is 50 percent or above so i mean he did have damage reduction but i'm gonna assume that he was tanking well as a ssr no now let me go ahead and see what's nova doing <laughs> let's look at his ssr two keen seven percent attack and then he gains 50 percent attack for three turns that's not bad yeah that's not bad at all for a 2016 ssr for sure. And he was sitting on a double god-led team of Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Yeah, I think Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Super Tech was, I think it was all right. For sure, because you had Golden Freeze as a tank. You had Tech Beerus and, you had Tech Beerus as well as that Tech Nova. They technically did damage. Technically, Tech, Tech Nova, Tech Beerus, Tech, all this Tech. Let me stop, where I have a... <laughs> 
before I have a uh, angry uh, video game nerd moment. You guys watch Sin Massacre? Oh my god, I love that dude. But yeah, going back on the tech Super Saiyan 3 votes, I think that him during the Elite Skill slash Dokkan event meta was fine. For sure. And he was one of those unique units where he had different super attack animations for each <laughs> time you got between a specific amount of key. For his, what is that? That's through his, what is like a 9 through something key? Yeah, 9 through 10 key. He would get the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. It's doing immense. And for his 11 key, he would do the Charging Ultra Boo Boo Volleyball attack. Damn, that's a, that's a lot to to stomach <laughs> he'll gain 100 percent attack for one turn and of course then he'll do extreme damage and greatly lower defense for his super ghost kamikaze attack so wait are those both those are basically the same damn thing so he only had two huh yeah they're both they're basically both the same goddamn thing same damn animation so he only had, he only had two animations so of course pretty easy eh? he was doing quite well let me just go ahead and skip on over to one of the attacks that's like i get into this video uh let's get this this is a great rotation for him. I don't remember if the tech-based Vegito and his SSR... Wait, is, is that his SSR? Am I crazy? Let me just get Fuse Fighter. Because I don't remember. Let me close all these real quick. Uh, I don't remember. This is not, that's not his SSR. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's his Awakened version. Yeah, he gives all allies 30% attack and defense. And all allies 25% attack. I didn't recognize that this wasn't his SSR. <laughs> until now <laughs> because i haven't seen this card in so long i was just i was just like thinking that that's what exactly what it was so yeah he's gonna be giving him up to what's that's 55 percent attack it's 55 percent attack and 30 percent defense on his turn because he gives all allies 25 percent attack this turn so tech super saiyan to go takes gonna hit a nice attack stat yeah 400k that's good that's 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 pretty good <laughs> for a god leader 400k super attack that's that's pretty goddamn good for 2016 now how does he perform during the what is that that's the battle road meta that is the battle road meta because of course legendary goku man does come out till goku day of 2019 and he comes out with his eza on march 12th of 2019 on jp now i think that this guy okay so they fixed some like things with his card they took his uh, extreme damage and made it supreme damage for his 12 key which is obviously a, a buff and it was really nice but i think the issue in this card lies in his defense i don't know why dokkan did this but you are forced to be below 11 key or less <laughs> like what 11 key or less to get his defense guys for a good amount of his teams it's not easy like at the time and even now it's not easy to keep this guy below 11 key because he's an over and a flash unit and guess what fusions have over and a flash hybrid saiyans such as the other you know the gotenks units he's a he's not a fuse fighter he's a fuse fighter unit, okay he's a fuse fighter unit it's like the hybrid saiyans the gotenks have fuse fighter it's like Buu saga there's over and a flash units you have uh, the go tanks obviously as well as the vegetos i don't think the vegetos have over in a flash from boo saga i don't think the, i don't think so i think they're just fuse fighter units but the case is is that teams like super saiyan 3 teams like fusion teams like boo saga teams like hybrid saiyan they will have uh, units that will keep this guy over his allotted amount of key and getting 11 or less key with this guy is not really that easy because the fucker was style with like 10 key anyways and uh, more often than not if you're running a solid team you're gonna have like an orb changer or maybe the orbs will particularly always go your way so you will never be below that key threshold i find it super just weird why they went with the design they did with this unit because being below 11 or less key with this guy is not easy because he's a fuse fighter and over in a flash unit but of course the nice thing is that that this guy does hit hard and he always did hit hard it's like this guy was a hard hitter from the jump from his pre eza up until the time that this guy got his eza in march of 2019 but the main case is that a they gave this guy particularly like just nothing and b why does he have to be below a certain amount of key to get his defense he should have gained 140 percent attack and defense on super attack and he would have just been a-okay i think that they just did nothing with his eza yeah this is one of the godlies that just like 
there's the, it's like a nothing burger. It's like there's almost nothing here. It's like cool. They gave him attack here. He always did immense. Yeah, he always did immense for his uh, nine through ten key and his eleven key. But it's like what? It's like cool. They buffed his to supreme damage, but there's almost nothing here to speak of. So let's go ahead and take a look at how many 200% leader skills this guy got. But actually, before we do, this guy was performing well inside the, the battle row meta, provided you burn the item. But if you didn't, this guy can get hit quite hard. So Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotik is only on two 200% leader skills. He's on so many damn categories. But he's... What? This almost seems very hard to believe but he's only on two 200 percent leader skills and i went through every single category because in uh, like a couple of videos that i've done in the past i have skipped over a specific category that i can't think of right now and uh, it had a 200 percent leader skill so obviously i went through every single category just to make sure that this guy was on his correct amount of 200 percent leader skills and if i'm wrong you guys already know i get corrected and i just go ahead and like it and just let you guys know <laughs> That I completely forgot. But the thing is, is that this guy is only on two 200% leader skills, and that is in Majin Majidas and the LR Z Boys. What? Really? What? It's it's like he's on so many categories. Yet he's only on two 200% leader skills. Okay. So what is good about this guy pre EZA is the fact that he was a a good god leader. B, he did damage, which was important back in 2016, and C, he was an over the flash unit, so automatically he was meta. He was sitting right next to the likes of uh, STR Super Gogeta, provided you did build a team with this guy as a leader, or maybe with physical Vegeta Blue, who will, of course come later on down the line. You would build a team with STR Super Gogeta, you would build a team with physical Vegito Blue. It's like the options that this guy did have going forward would make him just a viable option to be thrown on the team. Sure, could he be pushed off the team for better options in the future? Yes, but at the time, this guy could be, a, a, he could, there could be a case made that he was a mainstay for these fusion teams that you threw together because he was an over the flash Super Saiyan Fuse Fighter unit. So this guy was already ready to go because he hit hard. He was a over the flash Fuse Fighter unit that had a solid god lead. Now, what is good about this guy post easy? I think what's good about this guy post easy clearly is that they buffed the leader's good to four key and hundreds of the stats. They made him supreme damage on his twelve key rather than him being extreme damage from his uh, pre easy A. And as well as uh, this guy having a lot of category teams. But the only thing is with him having a lot of category teams is that he got that as time went on so i don't know if i can use that as a good thing about him excuse but for the sake of this video we're just gonna leave that in there anyways because being on a lot of category teams is valuable although this guy is not particularly that impressive anymore sure he hit hard yes there's a lot of units that hit hard in 2019 but this guy was among those characters that did just as much damage too but the thing is is that hitting hard as time goes on Listen, we're always going to get a unit that hits harder than you. That's just what it is. And uh, I think that the problem with this guy inside his pre-EZA, of course, is that he didn't get any sort of defense from anywhere. But it's okay because that was an offense-oriented meta. There was just no defense inside his pre-EZA. That's the only issue. And inside his post-EZA, they gave him nothing. There's nothing here. It's like 2019. Hello, we're supposed to be ramping up in EZA just a tad bit right dokkan we could have easily gave him 30 percent attack and defense on super or maybe just 30 percent defense for one turn just like to counteract his 30 percent attack with, with his 9 to 10 key i mean and the biggest issue is this what the hell were they cooking nothing was being cooked what is that <laughs> what <laughs> so it's like tech super saiyan through go tanks is possibly one of the worst easy a's ever i think his easy a is just it's like milk it's true like pilk like pepsi and milk oh that sounds so bad but this guy's easy a aged terrible <laughs> i would say that because of course the legendary goku event meta comes out in may of 2019 and are you using this guy in the legendary goku event clearly not he's meant for battle road right because he's a four key 100 percent stats leader skill that's just exactly what it is and even in battle road it's like sure this guy could hit a good attack stat with the right setup but the thing is is that gotenks can get touched if he does not have an item and even when he's below that 11 key i mean 
that 70% defense, that's nothing. He has 70% defense with 140% attack and performing a super attack. How I fix his easy A, I would give him, like, maybe dodge, a little bit of damage reduction at the start of the turn. It's like, but Dokkan wouldn't have done that. That's just a sad fact about that. But, yes, I think the main issue with him and his post easy A is that he just doesn't have enough. And that is about it. And it's very weird he only has 200% leader skills. Like, two 200% leader skills. I said 200% leader skills. <laughs> Him only having two 200% leader skills for today is very, very shocking. It's weird, because I went through all of these teams, and I'm like, wow, this guy actually isn't on more 200% leader skills. But I think that is really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys in the next video, and I love you all. Peace.